Well hello there Skywinders, welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode we're going to be looking at this, this is the Navy Crest Dash Cam A2 Pro. So it's front and rear, um, it has 4K and it has Wi-Fi. So um, it's 4K Ultra HD, Wi-Fi control, front and rear lens, it has a G sensor, parking monitor and loop recording. So basically what um, what you need to know about this is that it's going to connect to the app using the Wi-Fi so you're going to be able to see the um, images like that in real time as opposed to having to download anything. Uh, front and rear lens uh, of course uh, has two cameras. A G sensor that's um, for automatically saving a file when it detects a collision. Uh, parking monitor it'll record after it detects a collision when the car is turned off and you're presumably away so um, that's not not always great as great as it sounds because usually it'll um, turn on a few seconds after the collision so everything before that gets lost and then loop recording that's standard for all dash cams so if you know a little bit about dash cams you know that it'll um, they record files onto the memory until the memory runs out so and when that happens it'll delete the older file and replace it with a newer file so here are the apps that you might need I'll put them right there and let's open it up and of course here's the camera and here we have the um, this is the charger it has a USB-C charger <coughs> and here's the rear camera
Okay, so let's take a look at the app. Let's click. So that's the intro. Okay, so we have the front page right here. On the top, you see the um, preview. That's the front camera. So let's, let me um, flash the lights. And let's look at the back camera. Let me press the brake. Okay, so on the bottom, we have camera file. That's where all the files will be. All the files that are on the camera, which you can download to your phone. So let's go in. So it's looking for those files in the camera. It does take a while. There we go. So there's a lot. So I've been driving a lot, as you can see. So let me click on this one, for example. So that's the reverse camera. So let's look at a front camera. For example, this one. Yeah, this is a front camera video. And that's what you do. You show this to police right from your phone so he can see what happened. He or she can see what happened. And on the bottom, we have three options. You can download, video screenshot, or delete. So let me click on download. So remember, this is a one minute clip. 20%. So it does take a while because remember, this is a 4K file. Even though it's just one minute, it is a 4K file, so it's definitely going to take a lot of space. So this is not for a cheap phone. If you have a $50 cheap phone, this app is not going to work for you. So just remember that. Right now, I'm using an iPhone 13 with 128 gigabytes. So it'll work for the... Um, that kind of phone can handle this app. But if you have a, a $30 cheap phone, it's not going to work out. We're almost done. Okay, 100%, so it's been downloaded. So let's look at our files that are downloaded. So let me look at the one we were just viewing. And there you have it. And you can easily scroll through it. You can uh, go forward like that. You can go back and so forth. So that is the um, files on the camera and the ones that you can download, of course. Let's go back. And now let's look at the settings over here. So basically the settings are the same settings that you see on the device itself. So there's nothing unusual. The only difference is that you can do it from your phone. For example, right here on the top, you have sound recording. I'll leave that on. Image resolution, that's for the pictures, which I never use. Video resolution, so I'm going to leave that at 4K, 1080p. Um, loop, let's see what the options are. You have a 2K and 4K, so I'm going to leave it at 4K. Uh, loop record options, you have 1 minute, 3 minute, and 5 minutes, so, or you can turn it off. So I'm going to leave it at 1 minute, the, um, the files. So that means it's going to be recording clips that are 1 minute long. Timestamp, you can turn that on or off. WDR, I don't know what that is. Collision sensing, you can do it at low, middle, or high. So if you leave it at high, every time you go over a bump, you risk having a file getting recorded over that. So I'm just going to leave it at low, so it's only going to really activate when you have a real big collision, not just a speed bump. And of course, on the general section, uh, you have a Wi-Fi name, so you can change that name if you want. You can add a password if you want. Um, you can also check the uh, firmware version, which is that one, very long name. And you can format the you can format the SD card, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to press cancel. And on the bottom, you can do default settings, so that's going to restore the default settings. And that's it. So. Very simple and very straight to the point. So I'm happy with the settings right here. Having it on your phone is a lot better than having to push those buttons on the, on the camera. Okay, so let's go back home. 
Okay, we are back home, so we have reached the end of this review. And I will give this camera a 5 star out of 5 because it has everything, front and back. And it has a very good app, very easy to use. Um, very simple, doesn't have a whole lot. It just has the basics. And um, the quality in the video on this camera is the best I've seen so far. In particular, nighttime, I found it to be very, very good at night. So, 5 stars out of 5. Uh, thank you for watching, subscribe, and thumbs up.